Hey guys, welcome back. This is Blue Forest. So today we do have a major new announcement. Mike from Kabam got on Discord and they released this announcement on their main website as well. TFTF will be closing down in January. So the game will be coming to an end in about three months. So you can go ahead and read this announcement. He thanks us for our dedication and support. He does mention that they have already disabled all in-app purchases for money, which is standard practice for this kind of thing. He also mentions, though, that there will be new stories continuing into December. So there will presumably be at least a bit of new content, even if it is just time slides and such over the next few months. I also just wanted to mention that they have already removed the game from the App Store. So if you do want to keep playing, don't uninstall the game, because if you do, you're not going to be able to download it again. So this is obviously very sad news. It's unfortunate, it's disappointing, but it is not at all surprising. So as many of us know, this game has been very stagnant and sort of on autopilot going back several years, even before I started playing this game. And it's just been in a really declining state. And one thing about this announcement that is also kind of unfortunate is that it does at least explain why they never did any follow-up or communication after that roadmap that they released early this year, about nine months ago, right? They really hyped that up and they hyped up the Rodimus release and then almost nothing happened, right? They released several bots, most of which were bugged. And many of the promises that they said they were going to honor, they did not deliver on. And now we know why, because they've clearly been deliberating this for a while. By the way, this is, I guarantee, a final announcement. They're not going to change their mind. This is something that they have thought through, and they've probably known they were going to do this for some time. So I could say several things about this. I think it's best to start, honestly, with the negative. Unfortunately, as I have said before, I've made this very clear in previous videos, Kabam is not a company I have really any respect for. I have very serious issues with them, and I think they made a series of strategic errors and blunders over the years that most of which were very avoidable. Um, I never had any sense that they had any understanding of marketing. They had among the worst communication of any business I have ever dealt with, and that's not an exaggeration. Their customer service was awful. They didn't seem to have a cohesive strategy in terms of their business model for this game. Their pricing was exploitive and preposterous. I mean, we're talking about you know, virtual purpose purchases. There's so many things you could do with that. There were just so many things they could have done in terms of interacting with the player base in a way that would have increased revenue that they simply did not do, that any competent business would have done. There are a lot of ways that they could have supported this game more. And it may not have elongated the life of the game, but regardless of that, there were a lot of things they could have done to increase revenue on their side and keep the player base more happy, and they just did not do it. Um, I find Kabam to be whiny, pathetic, condescending, irresponsible, arrogant, censoring, you know, the list goes on. You know, I, I just have very little respect for them, and for that reason, I will never play a Kabam game ever again. I just don't think that they will be deserving of my time. And they really screwed a lot of things up with this game. You know, there were so many frustrations that the player base had that we begged them to give us information on for years, and they simply never did. Because one of the few things that I think most players can agree on is that most unfortunately, they simply did not care about the player base. That's just a fact. They had very little interest in us. They had no real engagement with their customers. They just did not care about the concerns of their player base. And any business that does not interact with their customers in a respectful and honoring way is eventually going to fail. And the thing is, is that, you know, this was not a question of money or resources or time because they could have done so much better with a minimal investment of time and resources. They simply chose not to. And that's really a shame because on the positive side, with that said, 
The one, the one other thing that I think most of us could agree on is that the fighting mechanics in this game were amazing. This is one of the best fighting games out there, period, mobile or not. You know, and to be able to to fight with your favorite Transformers in this really fast-paced 3D combat system was just fantastic. You know, and I have to give a lot of credit to their developers, to their designers, their engineers. The people who designed the engine for this game deserve a lot of credit because they did a fantastic job. And that's what I and a lot of us are going to miss the most about this game. You know, there's something very special about what they did in terms of the gameplay. But on the operation side, they made so many avoidable mistakes, uh, which is just so unfortunate. You know, I think if this game had been in more capable hands, if it had been run by a more competent company, regardless of how long the game lasted, it would have been a better experience for everyone. With that said, though, in addition to the fact that the game obviously is awesome in terms of the gameplay, there's a lot of great people who play this game. I've made a lot of friends playing this game. There's a lot of camaraderie in the game. I've met a lot of people playing and through Discord and through my channel, and I'm so grateful for that, right? Uh, because I was late to the party. You know, I started playing this game almost exactly two years ago. I downloaded it in October of 2020, and I originally started playing, honestly, just to have something to do on breaks uh, in between meetings and so forth, because in my work, I'm often waiting for clients. I thought I would get bored of it in a few weeks, but instead the opposite happened. I fell in love with it, and I've been playing the game every day for about two years straight, which is crazy for me. I mean, I'm not a gamer. I don't play any other game seriously. I don't own any consoles. You know, I work a lot. You know, I'm a middle-aged guy. I'm old enough to remember the original Transformers animated series from the 80s. I'm that old. Um, I'm just a lifelong Transformers game who just mistakenly really fell into this game. And, and I'm really glad I did. I have a lot of great memories of playing, being able to accomplish a lot, especially, you know, playing with one hand. It was just a sort of fun personal challenge to be able to get good at this game and, you know, to be able to rank up bots and rank up teams and, you know, complete missions like LOCs and high level AMs and all that stuff. Um, it's been fantastic. You know, as frustrated as I've been with Kabam a lot of the time, the gameplay experience overall has been really, really positive. With that said, though, as sad as this announcement is, and it's definitely sad, I think for myself and I, th I think for some other players as well, there's almost a sense of relief because, as I mentioned, this game has been in decline. And, you know, I was talking to a friend of mine the other day, and one thing I realized is that in two years of playing this game, I never played on a new AM map. It's been the same map the entire time. There were no new story missions or acts, no overhaul of raids. There was one new arena, the bot tracker, which they discontinued anyway. No new LOCs, no new game modes. It's just been the same thing over and over and over again for years. And for me personally, the first 18 months that I played this game, I really liked it about 90% of the time. But I did notice that in the last six months or so, I have become increasingly bored playing. It's felt a lot more like a chore. And I think that's just because the game is so repetitive. This game is clearly not a priority for them. And I, and I think the decision to focus only on new bots in this past year was also a strategic blunder because you can release as many new bots as you want, but without any new content to actually use them in, it's kind of pointless, you know? And as it, as it pertains to the roadmap, you know, it's not surprising to me that they didn't deliver on it. I do think though that it's pretty lame that they just decided to go entirely silent for nine months and then release this now and say now, okay, yeah, this is it. Right? They are giving 90 days notice, which is pretty standard. They've done this with other games. Other companies have done this with, with mobile games. Uh, but it's just really, really unfortunate um, how things went for the game in the last few years. With that said, I am surprised that the game lasted five and a half, you know, coming on six years. Because you have to remember, Kabam is not a successful company overall. They have one wildly successful game. They really hit the jackpot with MCOC. It's done phenomenally well and good for them. But most of their games have not done well and have not lasted long. You know, you see games like Realm of Champions, their Star Wars games, some of their other games did not do well. And so in a way that actually makes me grateful that this game did last as long as it did. Um, because 
you know, it, it, it was not a huge money maker for them, but they were able to keep it alive for a long time. And I have to be appreciative of that. So this is where we are. We have three months left. The good news is it's not shutting down in three days. We have a few months left. Some people will stop playing immediately because they don't think it's going to be worth it anymore. And that makes sense. As for me, what I'm going to do is I am going to keep playing casually over the next few months. I want to see whatever final missions they put out, whatever final goodies they give us. I want to enjoy it while it lasts because once it's gone, it is going to be sad. It's going to feel, you know, it's going to feel really lousy for a while, you know, because this game requires an enormous investment of time, you know, and for many of us, we've spent hundreds, if not thousands of hours playing, you know, I've had to like schedule this game into my life. And so when it's not there anymore, yeah, that's going to suck. And so my feeling is might as well enjoy it while it lasts. I'll probably stop doing AM soon just because I don't want to have to be committing to logging in at specific times four days a week. I just want to kind of enjoy things. But I am going to keep playing until the end. And then I'll, I'll probably, you know, say my farewell uh, in January when it gets shut down. As for my channel, I will put out some more content. I do plan to release more videos. It probably won't be a whole lot. But like I said, I want to see whatever new missions they put out. There's some random fights that I would like to do that I've never done before that I'd like to do it again. So I will put out some newer videos on my channel if you're interested. Um, I figure I might as well. And when the game does die, I will leave my channel active for a while. I'm just going to look at it as a sort of repository, a sort of diary of some of my fights. It'll be the last remaining evidence that I played this game at all. So my channel's not dead yet and the game's not dead yet. So I'm just going to enjoy it over the next few months. With that said, if you are leaving the game, if you're gonna stop watching videos, regardless of all of that, I do wanna say a very big thank you to all of you for watching. You know, I was very late to YouTube as well. I just started posting in February of this year, you know, eight or nine months ago. I didn't think anybody was gonna watch. I just did it for fun in case anybody wanted to see it. And then it did well and people responded and. I've gotten so much encouragement from you guys and I've made friends with some of you guys and I am proud of especially my more in-depth stuff like the strategy guides I did and the anti-tier list series, stuff like that. And so I'm just, I'm so grateful to every one of you, you know, so if you don't watch any more of my stuff, if you just leave the game right now, I just want you to know that I appreciate you being with me on this ride because it has been really fun. I've only done this channel for enjoyment and it has been very, very enjoyable. So Thank you to all of you guys. And so that's where we are. Um, please do let me know, you know your thoughts, how you're reacting to the announcement, what you're planning to do. Are you going to stick around? Are you going to leave right away? Of course, as always, let me know if you have any questions. Um, in the meantime, like I said, I will put out at least some new content over the next few months. How much I put out will just depend on what goes on with the game. But um, for now, please do take care of yourselves. Be in touch. Let me know what you're thinking and we'll be in touch again very soon. Take care.